We just paid $430 for this 10 by 15 storage unit right here. And there's a lot of good looking stuff in there. Let's do it. Look at this beautiful chair right here that even comes with a nice footrest. This, oh, you know what? I can get used to this. Well, I can't really lean back because I'm pressed against something else, but you know what? This is a cozy chair. Funny thing is, we were looking for a swivel rocker chair just like this, and the best one we could find was $600. It took over two weeks to get here, and then we just happened to look at this unit, and there was one sitting right in the front. So literally, I'm just gonna take some disinfectant wipes because there's not even a rip on this thing. Clean this up and put it in the nursery room, and literally the rest of the unit's free in my eyes because that's what we wanted. That chair, really nice. This one, on the other hand, uh, it, it's definitely seen better days. This one will probably be something we give away for free to somebody. When I saw the pictures, I thought this was one of those popcorn tins that you get all the family members for Christmas you don't really care about. But now that I'm here, I don't know what it is. Maybe it is popcorn. Kind of sounds, no, it doesn't. You ready? Yeah. No way. Look at this. What? Okay, these are in here. This is about to be majestic. Majestic. Ooh, look, uh, I don't really know what that is, but it does look like jewelry of some sort right there. All right, I'm gonna dump this out. I don't know what's all in. What does this say? This says popcorn corner. I was right. It was supposed to have cheddar, bacon, caramel, and buttery popcorn in it. What's bacon popcorn taste like? But it doesn't. Let's see. Is this all jewelry? Oh my gosh. Look at that. How's that for a start of a storage unit right here? Nice. Look at this. What's in here, actually? Just bead necklaces. Definitely some jewelry. Do we gotta see if they're all in here or not. This one, oh, I hear something. Some kind of bracelet it looks like right there. It might be Pandora, I'm not sure. This is marked 925 right there, so you know that's silver. So if there is real stuff in here already, what is this guy? Oh, empty green case right there. What about this one? Come on, I want one of these ones. I feel like these kind usually have the more expensive stuff. No, don't tell me you just pull out like the two that have jewelry in it, Monet. Oh, no, that's got something. Look, it's got like some little autumn leaves in there. We'll pull out, let's pull out a few more. I want one of these like hard fabric -y ones. That one feels heavier than the rest. What do you think? Yes. But, oh, come on. Wait. What? Wasn't it on top of that? No. Okay. No. Uh, any more like that? What about this? Macy's? That's an, look, there's the receipt. There's the receipt. Let's see if it's real gold or not. I love when they put the receipts with it. It makes our life really easy. I'm going to guess since they paid... $45, it is probably not real gold. But you know what? It's still a nice little piece of jewelry right there. What about, what else is in here? Is this jewelry too? This is, come here. Yeah, definitely some little Christmassy stuff. Maybe not, but something. Right here, Majestic. That's the one I already opened. Why did I open it again? What about this guy? V VM? That, ooh, look at that. It's like a little Christmas wreath that's golden looking. Overall, definitely a bunch of jewelry right out of the gate. Here is all the jewelry that was in that popcorn tin. Now, when we were at the facility, we didn't open up every last thing because that AC belonging above our head was loud, but now you get a chance to see every single piece. And you guys that are watching, let us know what you think the value is. We did see a couple sterling silver pieces, but nothing that was marked gold, though some of the older gold might be unmarked. But you guys that are watching, let us know what you think down in the comments. Let's go through the rest of this basket. Is that like a bank of some sort? I feel like it's a coin bank right there. There's some mail. We don't need that, but it will allow us to look the owner up. What is this? Oh, is that an old yearbook from 1966? That's exactly what that is. We'll put that with personal stuff to make sure they get it back. Nothing else in there besides paperwork. So let's get this bag out. Then right here, some kind of something wrapped up here. What is it? Come here. Is it just Ah, it's a, oh, it's a lampshade. I thought it was a cup. I was going to say it's a my size cup, but no, that's just a clear huh. lampshade maybe. Yeah. Maybe it's a voice projector. That I works. really don't know. We did look the owner of this storage unit up and unfortunately what we found was an obituary from earlier in the year. So she has unfortunately passed away. Why am I just now seeing this and I didn't notice this in the pictures? You know what this looks like, right? Uh, you know what this sounds like, right? Silverware? That sounds exactly like a silverware set. If this is sterling, I mean, that's probably two or three times the money back right away of the unit. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Ah, tape on every side. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there you ready? Go. What the heck? I just cut it. I just cut it. I'm like, oh, I'm opening it the wrong way. There. Oh, you ready? Oh, look at that. Please, 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 please be sterling. Please be sterling. If this is sterling, I'm going to poo. Um, this says <laughs> WMA Rogers 
Oh, ne sectional Oneata? What? It doesn't say Sterling or 925 on it, so that's not a good sign. What about this piece here? W.A. Rogers Oneata again. Some of this Rogers stuff still expensive. Oh, it says plate, reinforced plate. So this is probably going to be silver plated, which is not going to be nowhere near what it would be worth if it was Sterling, but I still bet you that's a $100, $200 probably easy. Based off of some of the image searches we found by looking this stuff up, it appears to be from the 1800s, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, it's not worth $1,000 like it would be if it was Sterling, but still well over $100. Why do people decide, you know what? They walk in their house and say, I really want to store an empty box of 24 nutritional shakes with three letters in it. Why? Why? Who knows? This says computer room. Do we have a computer? That would be a good thing to keep in your computer room. Uh, no. Oh, sweet. Did I just find the Declaration of Independence or something? Look at this. All right. Historical document. Obviously, this is something they sell at, like, probably somewhere like the Smithsonian where you can get these reprints. If this was real now, man. <laughs> what else is in here? Papers, papers. Definitely not what you want to see. Yeah, this is all just trash. Let's take this little side table here, set it right here, and we're going to use it because this looks like another jewelry box right here. Well, the first one isn't really a jewelry box, so maybe the popcorn's in here. Uh, no, what is that? A little tiny, like, address book and a one newspaper clipping from, I don't even know how old, a long time ago. Some paper clips. That's random. Ooh, what's that? Is it an envelope? No. Random some there's a bracelet in there there's a little tiny what does that say on it it says school of dance from 1987 that's pretty old there's some more paper in here what about the bottom drawer cds uh kodak maybe some camera stuff in here and a tape measure okay definitely not a jewelry box this box has dvr on it so we're gonna see if that's really the case gosh dang it i keep forgetting to bring this stupid knife out Whoever sent us all these, all the multiple people have sent us keychain knives, you know? Thank you. We, we shouldn't run that. out for a while. No, we have someone every set of keys now. That is definitely like a giant DVD player in there. I'm trying to see if I can see a model number on it. It's a Samsung something. Let's pull it out and check. Is it a DVR? Oh, it's a DVR, not a DVD player. And the remote's in there. Cool. Let's see. Can you see a model number um, on the back of this guy? over here. Where at? There we go. It's a Samsung model code HT-Z310T. That doesn't really mean anything to me. After a quick eBay search, turns out it's actually a receiver and the last one that sold, sold for around 120 bucks. So I just sliced off all the ceram wrap, which was not easy, it fought me a lot. Let's go into the dresser now. That looks like just files and papers. That's not what we want to see. What about this drawer over here? Come on. More of the same files, papers, not good. This one, what is that? Little Walt Disney bag from 2011, anything inside? That's empty, that's empty. What about the middle, open up? No, but the Disney bag's cool. But I see a lot of papers again in this guy right here. Not good stuff. What about this? Okay, now we're getting to, oh no, it's a bag full of papers. Is it? Let's see. I wanna take one of these out. What is this? Is it just full of cards? Uh, these are appreciation cards. I guess they never got sent. Let's see, ready? Let's see what we got today. Give me a gift card or some cash, please. Uh, this is, no, nothing. What about this little guy right here? Anything? No, nothing. So, papers, good little, oh, look what I see hiding. <laughs> oh, it's in there too, cultured pearls. So it's like a little four leaf clover it looks like, huh? Nice. That's cool. Turns out this little horseshoe clover was actually 14 karat gold and they've been selling for around 45 to as high as $60 a piece. Not a bad find. Now I gotta look under these papers though. Anything else hiding in here? Like this? What is that? Is that a fan? <laughs> oh, that was nice. It just broke. What about that? Yeah. Let's see. That sounds like paper of some sort, but we're about to find out. This is other playing cards. Hard? Yeah, some deco. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're just cards, like playing cards, unfortunately. What else is in here? Yes, yeah, more fans. I can deal with this 100 degree heat inside now. If this one doesn't break, please. Do I look pretty? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. Oh, I know what this is for. Virginia Lottery. That's all the papers. Oh, come on. Why do you keep all this? Why? What about in here? Oh, no, there's something. There's something. This is... That's an empty box. This is not an empty box, what is that? Oh, a DVD player, that's about five bucks. And a flashlight. 
Well, that's not what I was hoping for. I got a blue bag here, and I got a suitcase here. Let's see, is this paper? Get Why does somebody keep this much paper? Like, what is the purpose of this? That's all paper, really? Ooh, a card, a card? Maybe? A hundred bucks, please? No, nothing in there. So we'll just set the more paper over here. This thing here, how do I open this? Oh, it opens right up. I thought it was gonna be one of those ones you gotta unlock somehow. Let's see, ready? Come out, maybe not. Come here we out. go. Okay, you're open. <laughs> well, what is this? Let's see, something's in here for sure. I just don't know what. Now how do I remove this, is this hook? Is it more papers? No, it's a little mix in here. Okay, what's this guy here? There's a watch, that's a good sign. Uh, some kind of pennies that are really wrapped up from 1971. 1971 penny coin people? Is that something I should look out for? Is there a particular one? Oh, I see more coins in here. What is that? Look at that. There's a half dollar and another penny right there. So this is looking cool. What else is in here? These papers right here look really old, don't they? Yeah. Uh, just checks and random stuff. Any other coins hidden in there? Not that I'm seeing, unfortunately. So we'll set that here. What's this right to here? Virginia, or Luray Caverns wallet. Anything inside of there? No, what about here? Eh, no. Okay, more really old. That, this one's got something in it, but what? <laughs> ah, I see it, what is it? There it is. It's not American, some kind of foreign coin. All right, then all of this paperwork here, is there any bills or anything in here? There's a check, check, bank papers, nothing too cool there. This is random, what about this? This is a two year planner thing. Papers, papers, yeah, not seeing anything else here, too crazy. It's in the papers. What about this little jar? There's a little bit of money in there. I see a nickel, a penny, and a dime, and some keys. Really random. Another bank? Nothing in this guy. What about this little black bag right here? It is nothing. Ooh, a little change purse? No, nothing. But hey, at least we got some coins. So we moved a lot of bags and boxes here. A lot of paperwork. I mean, we could have probably saved two trees from not using this unit, but this is what's got me. Ugh. This is really heavy, and I don't know if it's locked or if it's just one of those ones. Oh, it's got a passcode on it. It's on all zeros. Uh, <laughs> well, that's not going to work, is it? No. I mean, there's only one solution to that. It has to be. Broken. Break it open. Let's. I don't really have anything with me besides the key. Oh, uh, I'm gonna use this key. You think it'll work? Let's see. Come on. Can we, can if you not, open? we can find something in the unit to use. It's slowly opening. I just gotta like stick it in here and turn it. Come on, break, break, ugh, break. I need something longer, I feel like. If we had like a screwdriver, this like would take two seconds. I saw a pair of scissors in one of the old boxes. Ugh, did you wear? I don't know, I gotta find it. All right, let's look for scissors. Found them. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. <laughs> we gotta work with what we got here. I feel like buying storage, you know, sometimes I feel like you're playing Fallout and scavenging. Ready, I'm gonna hit this side. All right. No, come on, ready, just pop, pop. That's it a little bit. Ugh. There you go. There's one. We just gotta force it in there. If this is all paperwork, I'm finding the former owner of this unit and I'm suing them. <laughs> Come on, open up. Open up. Did that go? No, oh my gosh. This thing right here. Go in from the other side. Ah, it won't go under, there's not enough room. Just open. Oh, there, there it go. is. All right, ready? Yeah. Please don't be papers. Oh, uh, come on, there's gotta be something under it, right? Please, please, no. I kid you not, we went through that entire unit. I have 17 clips on my camera right now of me opening boxes full of paperwork. I'm not even kidding, that was the whole rest of the thing. Other than this. Wow, right? That's wow. literally it. So we gotta really hope that one of these boxes has some type of gold or something in it maybe? I haven't opened them yet, I just set this aside, but we took two truckloads to the dump of just paper. This Harlan McGuire Jewelry in Charlottesville, Virginia. Well, that is something, at least it's in there. It looks like a thousand, I don't really know what it is though. But yeah, that's not gold. You can see where the paint's coming off of it. Jewelry, this is like a bead necklace and a bracelet. Let's go into this one here. This is what I wanna see the most. There's like four jewelry boxes down here. This little jewelry bag is empty. If this was gold, you know, we'd be in really good shape right now. But yeah, no, you can tell it's costume by looking at it, unfortunately. 
these we don't know so let's go into these this is what matters well there's definitely something in there oh maybe underneath okay looks like costume jewelry unfortunately yeah no markings on it so we're gonna guess that's not gold right now but we have five and the uh, velvety ones are usually the ones that have like real jewelry in them those are obviously nothing but still nice just costume let's go green first green for money yep something in there for sure uh, what in the heck is that thing i don't even know what that is what do you call that i don't know this looks like cross stitch if i'm not mistaken okay that's a weird piece that's different let's go with the brown one what's in this one something a uh, little bracelet but again like one of the easiest ways to tell is you can see the paint starting to scrape off of it you know it's either just plated or fake all together so unfortunately that's not going to be real but we got these two left blue definitely something oh that's pretty actually mm. that's like a necklace uh, pendant maybe yeah i think so and then we got the gray one right here what's in there yeah it looks like it's gonna be all costume unfortunately well i hope there was more treasure in that unit but at least we got our chair that storage unit was all right but wait until you see this next one that we bought for 510 dollars with this nice century safe right in the front hint there was quite a bit of money in there you'll just wait and see on sunday